I gotta go in ten minutes. Ugh, I gotta figure out what happened in the basement. My laptop had been left on and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes, you did. I pocketed the key. Go. Run, Daniel. Run, Daniel. What's in here? Bookshelf. The books were... There were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like that that man in that house had some of the same books as I did. My wife's Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Yeah. Rachel's suitcase contained closed toiletries and a train ticket. Is this what you were going to do with Norman? No, didn't you read the letter? She needed some time away. Oh, dinner smells good. Dinner smells terrific. Why am I going back in here? I gotta go downstairs. Go, 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 go. Moment of truth. <laughs> Wait, was this the door stuck shut? I have a key. Never mind. Forget it. Where does the key go then? No, not here. That's the kitchen. That's the kitchen. The basement? Wait, why did it suddenly let me go to the basement? The roll Christmas decorations in the box. <gasps> the garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key there. But there? Here. Did I take the key? Yeah, I did. Took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. Boxes. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in, in the basement. I had finished it yet, and so, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through it if I found something heavy enough. Ah. Up the stairs. Go. Go up the stairs. Space. Okay. Alright, this is the door I need to unlock, but before I unlock this, I gotta take the dogs out, and I gotta eat dinner, and I'll be back, but you guys won't notice the difference, because I'll probably just cut it and come back, and you won't, you won't care. Anyways, we'll be back, and we'll finish what we started. Yeah. Alright, after what was an hour for me, was probably only a few seconds for you guys. Unless I decided to end the episode there. Anyways, we're back with home. Or I am. What am I doing? This is where I came. I remember I got a key for something. I think that was the door upstairs. This door. The grimy key I had found in the basement unlocked the door. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? That wouldn't explain why the door was locked, buddy. There was an old crowbar. What is the crowbar doing in there? Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes, you did. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. And yet you weren't happy with the weight of the gun? You should have shot that drywall out, man. Pow pow. Okay, the moment of truth. The crowbar I found would have become would have become it grows in power as I near the drywall. No. The crowbar I found would have been strong enough to bust through that cheap wall. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes, you did. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broke wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? Here we go! A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful. It made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Yes, you did, because you're a murderer! Hope it's not a jump scare. Nothing to see here. Are you joking?
Oh, I can't see anything now. What? There really nothing to see here. That was it? What? What? Maybe I will use some of Rachel's travel books and go f find some place to go. It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman Stewart, that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Yeah, you were. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Okay, so Rachel? It, you can't have Rachel die, I guess? Within the few broken pieces that remained of the mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was just... It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. Wash your face, buddy. Take a bath. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow. A whisper. <coughs> Excuse me. I still didn't grab any water. I'm toughing this out. Oh, let's not go out the front door yet. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. I used the digital passcode lock. Did I try to open it? Okay, so I used the treaty hacks of the internet to gain the eight-digit code to the safe, and the code worked. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel and I when we had first moved into town. In it, we were smiling, outside the front of the house, which looked like a real mess. We looked happy, though. Odd. I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe, there was also an envelope. The front of it read, Do not open until I tell you. I guess this was a good time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and see what was and read what was inside? Yes. I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter, written in a hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me, too. Well, maybe you can. It isn't meant to be an excuse, but, well, I hope you can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream, a quiet place to get established, to live on our lives and to be together. But you know as well as I do, things quickly changed. Our drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, you retreated into that world of yours. Well, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all, but it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way. Rachel. Wow. Now, what's this? I leafed through the notebook I had taken from the forest. In it were the names that had been written down. Yeah, okay. And? Those poor girls. Were they victims of the same person who had killed Rachel? Oh, wait. Is she... Is she dead? Well, I thought the whole nothing of interest there... I, I don't know. I wonder what happened to the other names on that list. Or the ones scratched out on the desk in those wet tunnels. I don't get it. Now I'm even more confused. I still got my TV. From now on, I have no one to get angry with me for the stupid things like buying... buying an expensive TV. What? Just thinking about things like that made me sick with grief. Well, this is weird. I wonder if that was a glitch or something with the text. Nothing of interest here? Hello? Oh, I... I was here. What's this? Oh, that's my wallet. That's right. Ugh. What is this? This is the bathroom. Do I go back in the basement? Da, 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 da. I couldn't go back down, not until I'd gone over everything. I just needed to make sure I was perfectly clear.
There would be no more dinners here, no more chit-chat over breakfast. At least not for us. What's this? The male still sat here, heaped on the floor. How long had Rachel been lying in the basement? Whoa. I guess... Alright, I guess she's dead. But what was with the whole nothing of interest there? Pretty interesting to me. I don't know, it's confusing. I'm more confused than I was last time. Dot, dot, dot. The man in that house. Was he responsible? When I woke up, I had found him dead already. What do I do now? Yeah, yeah. Well... Hmm. What's there left to look at? I think I looked at everything. Upstairs. Have I been here? Yeah, this is where I woke up. That's right. Hey! Excuse me. I, no matter what, I needed some kind of escape. Oh, the books? Yeah. Okay. Ah! This is confusing. What was in here? The bathroom. Okay. The quiet in that room unnerved me terribly. I still loved the old-time charm of that claw-footed bathtub, though it seemed like a cold comfort then. Well, now what do I do? There's nothing in the bathroom. This? It was the keycard I found at the bottom of that factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers and poking around the plant. Still, it didn't quite add up. Was I the one who had been going back to the factory? Yes, because you're the murderer. It looked that way, didn't it? That locker room. I had given up drinking wood. But it's you. You're the one who did it. The laptop had finally run out of power. See, I was right. My deductions were correct. Daniel, you're a bad man. Now what do I do? Where's the kitchen knife? Can I go now? What was in here? Oh, this was this. We all know what that was. Now I'm lost in my own house. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. Alright, let's see what's... I guess I was ready to face the truth now. Oh dear. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Oh boy. It was the knife I had found in the sewers. I left it here because I didn't want it near me anymore. Was all of this my fault? Was I responsible for Rachel's death? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm... I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yes. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. Oh dear. I couldn't go back into that room again. Oh. Oh. Uh. What was that? Heard a door. What do I do now? Can I leave? That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? No, not yet. I wasn't sure it was my place to leave. Maybe my fate was best decided another way. Hang on. Is that... Is that it? Is there anything else I can do? Just think about things like that and make me sick with my grief. What do I do with this knife? Hello? Huh. Uh. 
I'm sure you guys can read that. Haunt me forever. You're the one who did it. Now it's just door to door to door to door. What? No, what? No. Wait a minute. The old cloth footed bathtub hadn't been cleaned nearly enough. Still, it would probably do. If I wanted to, I could use that knife to finally end this. The question was, did I think I deserved it? Did I? Was this my fault? Did I deserve to die? Well, we did. We walked out the door ending last time. Am I really going to do this? Uh, this is painful. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though it had been good for me, it kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me to get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense some time after that. My memories of what happened are still in flux. See, I was right. I was right. Oh, hang on a second. All right, time to finish this out once for all. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. Even the man I had found in that old place was a mystery. Why he was dead, or who had done it to him, you did, it was not even something I could even begin to understand. Or why, for that matter, I was in that room in the first place. It was clear, at least, that I had been the one going back to the factory. I must have been sleepwalking, or sleep-killing. But, but, what was I doing there? <laughs> I had given up drinking at night, so what was going on in that boarded-up room? Suddenly, my stomach started to turn. Was I responsible for that dead guard? I had to catch my breath to take it all in. You were! I was right! Up until the factory, things had only gotten worse, but then I had seen something even I wouldn't have expected when I went to Norman's store. That's when my perspective on this all this really started to change. Nora was dead, but I had no idea what had happened to him. You got angry and you killed him. Finding Rachel's things at his store though had been the ultimate shock. I would get no answers now, but that didn't stop my head from reeling with questions. But as painful as all that was, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had done and seen finally coming home was Oh, after all I had done and seen, comma, finally coming home was supposed to be the end to this entire ordeal. God help me, though. It was only the beginning. I put the knife down and drew a long, warm bath. Oh, dear. Slipping into the tub, I was surprised with how calm I felt. I heard it was like going to sleep if you did, if you did it right. Oh, dear. So I held my arms underwater as I made the incisions. Yeah. Though the initial sting came as a shock, it was only a matter of minutes before I felt myself ebb and fade. After that, the room washed to a calm and comforting shade of gray. And that was a different ending to home. Where you die. Good job, me. You killed Daniel. Wow! That was a pretty dark ending. I'm guessing if you kept the gun, you'd probably shoot yourself. But I was thinking if you exited the door, you would have got the ending I got last time. But yeah, as for the updates, I... Oh, sorry. I noticed some uh, new different sounds. Uh, a couple of different things that I don't remember being there before. Nothing major. No really major updates, because I guess I guess that makes this kind of pointless. But uh, if you guys want to watch this again, that's great, because I had fun playing it again.
to my home is dedicated to my wife Nancy. Watch your back. <laughs> oh yeah, cause he'll kill you if you do that. <laughs> the end. Good job killing yourself. Share your story at homehorror.com. What happened? I don't know how many endings there are, but I don't think I'm going to go through this again. Because it's probably going to be relatively the same. Besides ending ending it with the gun instead. And I opened the safe. Which is pretty cool, because I didn't open it last time. But I remember there being a hole I could have dropped down, but I didn't drop down it. And I think I forgot to do that. I might go back on my own time. But... This is all I'm going to do for home, so no more home after this, unless maybe sometime I include it in a midweek madness if I start that back up again. But for now, home is complete, and I'll see you guys in a different game, at a different time, at a different date. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time. This has been Home.